Holy moly, moly, moly. All right, we got a call for emergency services. I think the car's... Oh, coming quick! Oh, my God! Thank you so much for joining me as Game Edge. And never-ending search for brand new games. We're jumping into Accident. We did test this out in a demo, but Playway Games sent me a brand new full version of it. So I'm going to jump in and test this out and see what the final product looks like. This is available on Steam if you want to pick it up for yourself. I'll put a link in the description field. This, we've become a journalist who researches old car accident cases, helps victims perform first aid, obtain evidence, and reconstruct the events to discover what really happened. So that is our job, and we're going to be doing that. We're going to go and uh, check out the little accident cases here. Now, I did do this. If you guys want to see the uh, tutorial, I did do it prior, and there is another video for that. I'll probably put it in the link in the description field. We have a fatal error accident in Italy, Teramo, all right, in uh, 2012. All right, so it tells you a little bit of that. And also in Russia, we have another one here. And that happened in 2021. Wow. All right, we must be a little further out here. All right, we'll check out the next one here, which is the one in Italy. All right, leisurely drive down in the... Holy moly, that truck is <laughs> kicking it. Holy man. That, that's a little irresponsible, especially in these small roads and stuff. Right, a little GPS there. Nice. Here we go. This is not good. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, put on our hazard lights immediately. Let's call for assistance. Emergency. 911, but this is 112 here. Okay, let me out of the car. I gotta go check this out, dude. Check the mirrors, make sure. Yeah, I'm gonna secure the area as much as I possibly can, dude. All right, open up the trunk, grab this. And we're gonna put this down over here. There we go. Nice. I don't need another one down there a little further. Run that bend, but it should give enough time to kind of swerve around. I don't know what to get inside. What do I want to get inside for? All right, let's go check out. On the bottom left, you'll see there's a couple of victims. Two of them are still alive. Two of them are flatlined. Uh, that is not good. We'll turn off the car ignition so we don't get any fires going. I don't think... I, I think that tree branch is right through the dude. Yeah, this is all locked, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Holy moly. Super strength against uh, simulation, right? <laughs> oh, my God. All right. I'm going to check this out. This victim here. Turn off the car ignition. Also, let's make sure we get them all done here. We don't want any kind of fires or anything to start. No reason. All right, we're all good. Top left. Mark the accident. Yeah, I hope she has an extra one. I have some of these in my car. That is for sure. Very helpful. Flares, everything else. All right. Done. Secured. Uh, precisely where you are. Try a GPS. All right, for frick's sake. I got to go and do my GPS for this guy. I guess they, they need it exactly. Location. Alright, I have the GPS here. Is that good enough? Okay, I got my got my stuff. Check all four victims. Yep. I have to would have checked them a little bit before that, but okay. How you doing? Okay, we're gonna just shake him, make sure. Okay, nothing. Put his head back, check his airway. Okay, he's still breathing. Wow, that's pretty lucky too. You see a puncture wound there? Check for injuries right here. All right, one down. Thank you, information. Paramedics are coming. You know what? Uh, I think you're gonna be okay. I think you're not gonna be okay. Oh, you have two victims in here. Holy crap! I didn't realize that. Didn't see him through that tree. Okay, broken neck. Ouch. There's a wound there, and breathing, yeah. No, unfortunately not. Okay. Nothing's on passenger. Check right here, too. Inspect. Ma'am, can you hear me? All right, check for injuries. What the freak? Oh, okay, I can look down right over here. Open up the airway. Let's listen up. All right, she's the second one that's alive. So both in that car on the right are dead, unfortunately. 
Okay. Open up this. Let's go and see if this gentleman how he's doing. Oh my god. Gently shake. Gently. Oof. Yeah. Unfortunately. I'm sorry, but all right. There should be a health kit here. First aid kit. Now the guy over there is in worse trouble than she is. So I'm gonna go and use the health kit on him first. First aid. All right. I did realize I had tools. There's a utility knife back here. Okay. So he's gonna cut away the branch. Keep that branch in there, though. No. Don't want it bleeding. Okay. You want to make sure to keep that in there. I was like, please don't, don't do it. Okay. Do we have anything else here? Let's open this up. Get some gloves on. All right, and a pair of scissors. And can we go back up? Thank you. Let's cut the shirt open. Perfect. Okay, you just have to look up and down. That's great. Apply mm -hmm. pressure to the wound. I didn't have a chance for the other girl, but she was in okay shape. So there we go. The paramedics have arrived. And now we gotta go and search out what happened here. It looks like a tree obviously fell. But the guy back there, he was driving a full throttle, the truck. That was pretty gnarly. All right, it was this gather all four clues. All right, so there's one here possibly. All right. Turns away to, okay, lose control, hits a tree. Absolutely. He got pretty lucky, didn't he? He got pretty lucky he didn't hit that thing. But then he ended up picking it worse, I guess. Unsecured uh, logs fall from logging trailer, which is a guy who's speeding before. Remember that? He was going a full throttle. That's what happened. Hey, it's not every truck jar, but it, you know, there's always people out there. One of the logs uh, smashed the car behind. It's not easy, man. There's uh, there's idiots in every profession, and the majority of the truck drivers work extremely hard. I tell you what they have to do. Loose branch gets stuck in a car wheel, and making an impossible turn. I know a lot of good guys out there who, who talk about it all the time. That's jammed. Do I have all four clues? I do. All right, put the events in order. We can pretty much figure this one, I think. All right, so this fell off, which then caused this accident, which then caused that. And I believe he swerved last. Success! And now we're in Mother Russia. All right, well, this is pretty good. Doesn't look like there's any accidents so far. This is a good thing. Oh, man, I hate the snow so much. I live in Canada, so if you guys don't know that, I, I get to deal with that. Was there a truck back there? I think there's a truck back. Oh, there's something up here, too. <laughs> totally disconcentrated driving. Whoa, my car just kind of lifted up a bit. All right, um, so obviously I must have saw something on the left, <laughs> which I completely just did not concentrate on. All right, call for emergency. All right. Let's call. Uh, no signal. God darn it. All right. Well, that's not good. I don't think we get any hazards. I am on the shoulder of the road. And, uh, yeah, it looks like there's a vehicle right here. There's one back there, too. Uh, call emergency services. All right. Um, it looks like that's full of stuff. I'll go back to the other guy over there and see what's what. Can I close my door? Let's close my door. <laughs> Oh my god, this is a not a good idea. Do not cross over. Holy moly, moly, moly. All right, we got to call for emergency services. I think the car's... Oh, coming quick! Oh my god. Oh, Jesus, people drive way too fast in winter. They have that here too in Canada. Sometimes it's just like, God, people, slow the frick down. All right, all right, let's see here. Oh, he's got a smartphone. All right, let's try his phone. Maybe he's got better reception. He does. <laughs> my phone sucks. Call my carrier after this. Oh boy. Let the cold air go in there. Secure the area. Turn off the ignition uh, vehicles. Yeah, that's pretty much uh, I want to do. Alright, yeah, I'm going to turn off this guy's stuff. I'm screw checking on him. I'm just going to check on him afterwards, I guess. Close that door. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to make it. Alright, we have to mark axle location. And I. Oh! Oh my god. Okay, I gotta cross over. What the hell is this? Is that glass or gravel? I don't know. I have to go and check it out afterwards. These cars are driving way too fast. Freaking me out. Alright, we gotta we gotta somehow There we go. Let's grab this. 
Let's close that up, keep that warmth. Alright, I'm gonna risk my friggin' life. And I've done this before, by the way. This is not fun. Ah! <laughs> we can rewind that. Okay. Uh, inside. Oh god. Just uh just be careful, the cars are quick. <laughs> oh my god. Totally got smacked and became the accident. Okay, just cross over again. Oh my god. I think it's the same guy who hit me. <laughs> oh, oh Jesus! I'm walking aside of the road here. Could at least slow down a little bit. Let go of the gas. Okay, we're gonna mark this again. And this time I'm gonna be extra, extra vigilant. Oh, there, there's the truck. Okay, okay. I just took me a while to click on this damn thing. Oh my god. Okay. All right, they should be, they should be moving over a bit. Okay, let's not get hit by another vehicle. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, try moving the planks, man. Can you see me? <laughs> I'm totally. All right, let's just grab that one, that one, <laughs> that one. <laughs> Thank God we can rewind time. Oh my God! All right, that, that was wicked. All right, let's turn off this ignition. Oh man, that plank's right there. Yeah, I don't know. That's what I'm about to do. But I think I need to remove a seatbelt, right? Yeah, that's probably best to do right now. Let's get back up here. Let's look up here. There we go. Step back. Make sure to clear the airway. See if there's anything. All right, we got a little bit of heavy breathing. That's good. Ooh, freaks me out when I hear that. Okay. His ignition is off, right? So let's just close that door. Oh, wait a second. That's a window? Because I think it's all filled. Yeah, there's problems with the other side. So let's just keep that open for a second. Oh, my God, I'm stuck. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, that's blocked. That's blocked. I guess I have to remove some stuff here. Debris is stuck. All right. Oh, we can lean in. Good. All right. Um... I guess I'm gonna check to see if she's okay. Ma'am, you okay? Let's just unbuckle that. And let's uh, set her back a bit. Make sure she has her airway open. Everything's good. All right, she's breathing too. That's good news. That's fantastic news. I'm gonna wanna keep them warm though. It looks like it's bloody cold. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna put up the window again. I don't want them to freeze to death in here. They're unconscious and it looks like it's bloody cold. Uh, same thing about my trunk here. I'm going to close... Actually, I might need to carry this with me. And just close this up. Alright, check your exact location. Alright, we got to go in our car. Got to check out uh, our GPS. Because, you know, the one on the phone would just suck. Exact location. We're good. You got that? Good. Okay, close the door. Whoa. Oh boy, this is just super dangerous. I'm still sicking on the side here. I don't care. Those guys have rolled all those cones before. I've seen those in real life. It's just like, pow, right through the cones, through flares. They don't give a crap. That's not everybody, but just always a couple of few. You know what I'm saying? There's always a few. All right, let's go and check out on our here, our friend Boris. It's actually not Boris, but it's all good. All right. Wow, he's got a hell of a gash right there. It's not good. Let's unbuckle him. Uh, definitely not conscious. That's not good. And back. Let's fix up his wound. Check for his breathing. His wound is pretty bad. Big gash. All right. Protect the victims. I'm going to try to help the victims. Protect them from the victims from cold. Hell, I, I've already done that. I'm proud of myself. Maya said I got killed. All right. So what am I supposed to do now? I'm supposed to get out. I guess I'll check on him again and see. Can I grab him out, I guess, because he's got a window that's broken right now. What the frig? Where'd you go? Oh, dude, I didn't realize I did that to you. All right, uh, first aid first. Let's just make sure we fix this up. All right, we get the gloves on. Make sure to protect ourselves, too. And protect him in case we've got a cut. All right. Oh, my God, sir. Oh, I'm carrying him. Really, this is gonna be hard to cross the freaking road with. This is super dangerous. Oh my god. 
And totally, like, no one would stop to say, why are you carrying that guy across the street like that, dude? All right, uh, how are they doing on the bomb there? All right, we have... Uh, the other two are okay-ish. The lady is going down pretty fast, I find. But as long as they stay warm-ish and they're inside there, it's not going to be able to last long, but emergency services hopefully will arrive soon. And these cars are going so fast. This is so dangerous. Why am I holding like this? It'd be impossible to walk. It'd be on my shoulder. I guess I'll put it in my back seat. I mean, I'm not going to shove my trunk. I sh can I shove them there? Oh, I can. Nice. That's what I would do in real life, so there we go. Good now, you okay, car? Get in your car. All right, that's what we're going to do. Thanks. Jeez. Get inside. All right. Wait for help. Woo, 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 woo. Okay. Wow. New objectives. Gather all clues. Did you close the freaking highway? I don't want to go out there. Oh, they took him out already. Hey, you guys working on him good? Crap, there's nobody in sight. Oh, maybe they're in the back. That's true. They're, they're probably in the back working on them. Do they help out the, the grandparents and stuff? I mean, that feel. Oh, what's this? Skid marks. All right. Igor slams on the brakes, which locks all four wheels. All right. So that would be the last thing that would happen. Before last, I guess. And debris. Would this be a clue, too? This whole thing being broken down? What is this thing, anyways? It's a kind of little rest area, I guess? Uh, I guess so. Oh, there's like a, something there in the front. Oh, uh, that's another clue. All right, crashed into parking shed. Oh, yeah, he sure took it out cold, but you know, I'll tell you something. If you've never driven in winter and you live somewhere else that doesn't have the snowfall that we get, uh, we get this in Canada too. It's, it's just insane amounts. Oh, they blocked off the highway. The police blocked off the highway. Good. I don't want to die again. All right, so the truck came across here. And there's some kind of gravel there. Maybe they slipped on the gravel. Oh, there's a skid mark here. So this is where it loses. Uh, all right, we're changing lanes. All right, so he started the whole event. Igor Mystic merges uh, the control to slide. Okay, he's trying to yeah, control his slide away from there. And there was definitely a impact here. Collides with his car. And then he's off to the side here. Pickup spins into the tree over there. All right. I'm just giving myself some safety. I don't care. Some guys even go, see him go through some safety stuff before. And uh, real life. And I, I mean, I see him pass right past police officers and everything. Pretty darn insane. All right. Uh, let's check this out. We need to uh, put this all together. And I think we're going to say that he started the problem here uh, while changing lanes. And then Igor manages to control slide. That would be probably afterwards. Vladimir uh, collides with Mystic. Yeah, the other cut. That's it. And then, oh boy, which one is? Control slide turn into the parking area. Or pickup spins out of and slides into a tree. I guess it makes no difference. Because they're going to slide here. And then he goes off and loses control. Slides and tries to put himself back into position. I guess. Uh, you know, yeah, controlled himself a little bit and then uh, right here he slams on a brake obviously because then he sees that shed and pow finish an aerial success wait you know what that's good despite losing consciousness and hitting the shack igor didn't suffer any serious injuries thank god our paramedics were able to revive him on the way to the hospital and was able to leave the uh, next day that's fantastic i hope your wife is okay lazia i think it is i don't know how to say it all right uh, during the accident Suffered a minor, uh, only minor injuries, unfortunately, due to her advanced age and overall poor health. Her recovery was slow and problematic. With the support of her husband and their children, they left in the hospital. Okay, there you go. Uh, head injury wasn't uh, as serious as good. Uh, didn't threaten his life. Colliding with a tree uh, crushed several of his ribs, which then caused lots of internal damage, including puncture lung. Ooh, most of these are treated in the hospital, but long recovery. Uh, well, 
He lost his business. Oh, he closed his business. That's sad, man. And uh, let's see what they have next here. So we did this completed with a Swedish one, which I think we did last time. And then there's a cliffside accident in the Alps. That is pretty darn cool. All right, if you guys want to see more of this, I don't. I really would like to bring you guys more. I'm actually very curious a little more. Oh, there's some look at in the states too. There's a street race. That is very nice. Again, if you guys want to see more of this, I'd love to bring it to you. If you want to go pick it up for yourself, again, I'll put a link in the description field. Uh, very cool game. I enjoyed myself a lot. And again, yeah, thank you to Playway Games for sending an advanced copy of this. Always very much appreciative. This game edge. It'll catch you guys on the flip side.